Okay, class, we've done one example. Let's do another one. This is our second example in, uh, in chapter seven. We're gonna deal with a grasshopper sitting on the edge of a record player. Some of you may not know what a record player is. It's one of those old fashioned things, long time ago. It was the vinyl disc. Elvis put all his things on record players, on records. Okay, so you've got a grasshopper and it's sitting on the edge of your record player and for some reason you don't want to touch the grasshopper so you, to get rid of the grasshopper, you just turn the record player on full speed. The fastest those things went was 45 RPMs. So you, gotta, you crank it up full speed and those things take a while to get up to speed. In fact, this one takes a whole three seconds to get up to speed. And you're hoping that the grasshopper will just jump off because it doesn't want to be there. Either that or you're just trying to, you're feeling rather mean and feel like making the grasshopper sick. So you, you do that. You, you crank it up and the grasshopper is spinning around. And the question is, what is the angular acceleration of the record player? So let's write down what we know, what we need to know, and we'll draw a picture. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. We are told the radius of the record player. That's 0.2 meters. We are told the final angular speed, 45 revolutions per minute. That's RPM. We are told the time. It's assumed, since the record player is just sitting there to start with, it's assumed we know the initial speed. That's zero because it wasn't moving to start with, and then you turn it on, okay? And then, we're told that it takes three seconds to do this. And we're asked for alpha. Okay, first thing you should notice is that this is not standard units here. So, we need to change some units here. We need to break out some railroad tracks. And to get rid of revolutions, we're gonna remember that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So we're going to say 1 revolution, 2 pi radians. Revolutions are going to cancel out. And we'll have radians per minute. But those aren't standard units either. We need radians per second. So we've got to do this one more time. Now we've got to get rid of the minutes. I mean, remember that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So I'm going to put a minute upstairs, 60 seconds downstairs. Minutes are going to cancel out. And now I've got radians per second. Those are standard units. So. When you punch this out, you're going to get 4.712 radians per second. Okay, so now we've got proper units. Now the question is, what is alpha? So, we're just going to break out the definition of alpha. Alpha, it's angular acceleration, is equal to change in omega over time. Remember that change, that delta there, that triangle, means final minus initial. Okay, so our final speed, that's this. 4.712 minus the initial speed, which was zero, because remember it was sitting there to start with, divided by the time, which was three seconds. So it's pretty straightforward. So you can punch that out in your calculator. The angular acceleration of this is 1.571 radians per second squared. Okay, good. Let's go to part B. Part B asks, what is the tangential acceleration of the grasshopper? Now this word right here is a big fancy word. Let's talk about that for just a second. So, Let's go back to our wheel that we're going to roll across the table. Now I want you to notice something. As I roll this wheel this way, which direction is it speed? You're going to say, that way, of course. You're right. It is. It's exactly that way. Exactly parallel to this table, which is exactly the tangent to this circle. Speed that way, and it's tangent to the contact point on the table. Did you catch that? Tangent means a line that you can draw that touches it in only one place. So if I were to have a straight, perfectly straight line across here and just 
touch it just at one spot, that line would be tangent. The line that touches this wheel at the bottom is the table. It touches it in only one spot at any point in the roll. Okay, so if it only touches it at one spot, well, we call that tangent by definition. And so now, we've got a grasshopper sitting on the edge of this thing, and this grasshopper is going round and round and round, and we're asked not only what is the angular acceleration of the record player, but what is the tangential acceleration of the grasshopper. So this grasshopper is hanging out here, and it's not only accelerating, its angles are getting faster, but its linear acceleration is getting faster and faster as well. So that's what it asks for. What is the linear acceleration, the tangential acceleration of this grasshopper? And then you say, oh, well, now that you put it like that, that's not too hard to figure out because I remember, because we just talked about it, <coughs> that the linear side is equal to r times the angular side. So we can just figure this out. This would be the tangential acceleration of the grasshopper. So the tangential acceleration is equal to the radius, which is 0.2, times the angular acceleration, which was 1.75, I'm sorry, 1.571. And when you touch that out, you get 0.3. Six meters per second squared. Okay? It's not so bad. We're moving on to part C. Part C. The question asks if the grasshopper lets go after five seconds, what will be the launch speed of the grasshopper? Oh. This requires a little bit of a demonstration. So, let me see. 